What is up guys, it's TKO Smokey and today I'm going to show you how to install mods into the MX Bikes game. Now if you're watching this, I'm assuming you already have the game so we'll skip past that part. But one of the first things you need to do is you need to download uh, an application called WinRAR. And essentially what this does is it allows you to send and receive really big files. So first thing is first, we're going to go find the WinRAR website. You can get in Google and just type in WinRAR. WinRAR. All right, and click on the very first link that you see. You'll see you can buy or download. Don't buy. The application is actually free. They give you a 40-day free trial. And for some reason, you never have to renew it. I, I don't know why. it. I'm really confused by the whole thing, but right here it, it gives you step-by-step -step instructions. And so you, once you download the WinRAR app, it is super, super easy. You're going to click yes here, blah, 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 all the good stuff when you're downloading applications onto your computer. And then we're just going to hit install. Right here are the actual files um, that WinRAR supports, and we're just going to hit OK and boom very very simple we're gonna X out of this and then boom we have WinRAR on our computer and it is ready to send and receive MX mods files pretty cool right so our next step is to go to the mods website which is mx-mods.com We'll go here, and once we uh, get to the main page, you'll see right off the bat um, the most recent uh, mods that you can get. Bike skins, rider skins, all kinds of stuff. So I'm kind of cutting around, uh, but you can browse, and, and really just whatever kind of mod you want, it's, it's just right here on this website. But I'm going to pick the Chad Reed OG Shift Gear. Um, it's pretty cool, it's pretty new, and I don't have it yet, uh, and that's why I'm going to download this one. But after you pick the mod that you want to download, you're going to just click that, and then you're just going to scroll down until you see the download link. And there you go. It says download now. You want to click on that one. And then just hit download. We'll X out of this. And usually when you download a mod, it, it comes in two file types, a PNT and a PKZ. But once you download the file, you're going to go back into your documents, hit your Pobosa folder, go to your mods, and since this is a gear, a gear link, you want to go to your rider profile, your rider mods. So we're going to pull this over to the side, scroll right here, right where it says right where it says rider, you're going to click that. And then you're going to open it up and we're going to click on paints and we're going to pull this folder over to the paints. You can't copy and paste it in. You literally have to drag it into this folder. And you can see I have a bunch of mods. Also, I forgot to tell you, you can't have the MX Bikes game open when you install this. The game has to be completely closed out or your mods won't show up. So just take a note of that because a lot of people will start downloading these things and they'll have their their game open and then they'll go look and they won't they won't find it and they think something is wrong so just make sure that the game is closed completely out before you start installing this so once bikes is loaded up you'll see your main menu right here and the way you find and uh, customize your your rider and bike and everything is uh, right under profiles it says bike so we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go click over here where it says bike and then we're gonna click where it says kit paint and just like internet magic there we have it right there it actually looks pretty good let's see they the the download said it was a test just to see what it looked like but it looks good it says re22 on the back looks pretty cool um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. And if you guys have any other questions with maybe downloading the motocross tracks or anything else in the game, just let me know. Hit me up on Instagram. Uh, ask me your questions in the comments, and I'll gladly uh, answer them.
to the best of my ability. But uh, that's it, and thanks for watching.